best centers that were the stars of the skills challenge. Vucevic, though, losing in the finals to Indiana's DeMontis Sabonis, who, by the way, was the runner-up last season. Okay, you just heard from him. We now bring on our digital sports reporter, Marcus Greaves, for his keys to the game. And, hey, when we look ahead to the Trailblazers, this mm -hmm. is all about having depth during a pandemic. Right. And for the Trailblazers, once they get CJ and Nurk healthy again, they got to find a way to get back into the groove. Right, absolutely. And that's the thing is, anytime you take some time off, either in the game, in my own experience, say when I was yeah. injured, is that – it took me a little bit, right? You have the muscle memory of understanding what is going to go on when you come back. You know how to play the game, obviously, but there's just something to be said when you're not physically playing the game, right? And I think they'll find their way to get back into the groove and things, and, you know, they probably do it in practice. But just finding that, that groove as a whole unit, those starting five, it's going to take a little bit, but they have to hit the floor running when they get back. Well, we obviously know this about Damian Lillard. He's playing at an MVP level right now. How important will it be for him to maintain that level of play once all the guys do come back. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, man, is this. We ask a lot of him for a reason. Because, and we saw him in the All-Star game. There's a reason why there is Dame time, right? Yeah. And he's averaging basically 30 points a game. And listen, he has to keep that going no matter what. But he said, he says all the time is that he trains for this, right? The offseason, he works so hard. His trainer, Phil Becker, says the same thing is that he trains for this. He practices those shots over and over again. So he he can, he'll be able to do this when, you know, the rest of the season comes along and he's prepared for it, just like we saw in the All-Star game. We just talk about guys that, uh, you know, with the depth that they have, mm -hmm. they're going to need more than just Dame to carry the torch down the stretch. You need guys like Trent Jr. and mm -hmm. Ennis Cantor to keep this fire in their bellies burning. Yeah, exactly. And even guys like Derrick Jones Jr., right, on the sure. defensive end, who those are the guys that kind of get those spark plays and Carmelo Anthony coming yeah. off the bench, dropping 30 points sometimes. Just in general, having those guys – provide for not just Dame and not just CJ and Nurk, but the entire team, right? Those guys have to come off the bench and all those role players need to step up and do the role extremely well in order for the Blazers, right? To make that playoff push and just make it in the playoffs in general. Well, you know this, uh, Charles Barkley put up 100K on the Trail Blazers <laughs> to go to the West Finals what doesn't and he win do, it. <laughs> go to the Finals. How far do you think right now as we sit at the midway point, how far do they go? I think they, I think they stay in the five seed, but mm -hmm. I think they get to the second round and then get bounced. It's only because this is that those top teams in the West, they're tough, man. Those are good teams, right? The Lakers, the Clippers, the Jazz. I mean, it's just hard. You go down the list, all those teams in the West are legit for a reason. I just think, I think the Blazers have it in them. But again, at the end of the day, depth, experience, and overall talent matters. And I think those teams are a little better than the Blazers right now. It's all about staying healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Blazers getting to... Uh... Enter the second half of the season, starting off against a Suns team that right now currently is second in the West. Then a quick trip to Minnesota, followed by a five-game homestand. It's going to be a marathon, really, for Portland and all the teams. The Blazers themselves will play 37 games over the next 67 days. Well, the road to recover 